Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Jason's back again. Hey. This is a beer that technically you got for me up at Hill Farmstead in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> just about. Want to tell us about it? Maybe? Yeah, sure. Um, so if you do go to the brewery, bring a GPS for sure. It's um, it's about two miles of crisscross dirt roads and uh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you, you know you didn't just freshly wash your car. I mean, come out with a uh, pretty dirty car, but the brewery itself is really cool. It's, um... Why not about this beer? Oh, this beer. I don't know anything about this beer, actually. I know it's, uh... It's, it's a collab between right. uh, Hill Farmstead and the, some Dan... Uh, it says, Our Danish friends Christian and Peter. Okay. Um, one is from Flying Couch or something, and one is from uh, Beer Here. Okay. I believe Sean Hill started out with McKellar or Evil Twin or one of those guys. Peter and Master Poppins with Sunbill. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot. But um, yeah, so it's a collaboration. You know, it's like whenever they do a collab, they do it under a grassroots brewing label. But it's, it's technically a Hill Farmstead beer. That's what I would, I would consider it. So it's an Amber Saison, only 5.4 ABV, 750 ml bottle. Do you remember how much this was? Uh, I think this was 12 bucks. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Anyways, we got our, you know, Belgian tulip glasses here. And yeah, I'd say that's amber. Yeah. Orange, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, like a dark orange. Yeah. Burnt orange color. It's a little hazy. I can't yeah. see through it. Yeah, it's real hazy. Yeah, I've got about a finger or two I've had. It's like white, frothy. Yeah. It smells good. It's yeah, good. it smells like a nice Saison, actually. Yeah, it's just classic Saison. It's, um... It's a, like it's similar banana to like a, a Hefeweizen, but mm -hmm. it's got a real fresh smell. I get a lot of yeah. uh, white pepper. Yeah. On this. Yeah, or like white grape, or um, yeah. Um, the, the guys in my homebrew club did a uh, pink peppercorn saison. Mm. So maybe like yeah, it's almost like a little bit of, like, to really bring out that natural spice you get from the saison yeast. So. Yeah. No further ado, we're just gonna get into this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Wow, that is it's sour. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a little sour. It's it's straight up juice though. Mm -hmm. First thing when it hit my lips, I was just like, it tastes like white grape juice. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Is this, is this, um, what's the brewing, what's the, uh, is it Britannomyces Britan that makes it sour? Is this made with? Um, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. It's a, like, I, Brett would be more of just like a funky farmhouse thing. You might, they might infect it with lacto or something like that. Oh, okay. Patacacus or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like slightly sour, but I mean, it's not to like a point of like a Cantillon sour no, or no, something no. like that. I'm just trying to think of other saisons that I haven't had one in a while, like he Hennepin from Oma Gang. It's hard to actually compare the two. This is more. This is really juicy. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like white grape juice. I get a little bit of like this like band aid quality on it. Like it has like almost like antiseptic. Now that I'm drinking it, okay. Like if you're ever like in a nurse's office or something, like that kind of antiseptic in the air, you can almost taste it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I also get like a melony, maybe like green melon. Yeah, like a cantaloupe. Yeah, that one, yeah. yeah or uh, honeydew. Honeydew. Yeah, cantaloupe's orange, honeydew is like green. Yeah, I get that. It's really fruity and... Yeah. It, I don't know, is amber saison it's just because it's the color is amber? Or Probably. It's, okay. I mean, it's not like a recognized style, you know. That's like, unless you're like a super, maybe in Belgium. Uh, <laughs> they have all the different types of saison styles, but yeah, um, it's definitely more of like an American saison. Like when I was smelling it, I was smelling like the kind of Belgian, you know, yeast esters. Yeah, oh yeah. But I'm not. If I was drinking this wine, I would never peg this as being Belgian. Yeah, I don't think I would either. Maybe it's because I haven't had it in a while. I'd get a little more sour sourness to this than I would on a typical saison. Yeah. 
which actually makes it really drinkable for me because it's not that like super dry oh, like, yeah. thing you get from saisons. Yeah, it's nice because like it's like I said, like that juiciness. So it's like you know, it's more like an authentic fruit. Like I mean, it's you know, it's sweet, but it's not like really sweet. It's just like. A little sweeter than the average saison, a lot less peppery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is really refreshing. This is, I don't know if this is like, I don't know when this is, it says actually brewed uh, July 2013, so. Yeah. I guess that would be it's, summer, fall. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, it was probably, I think they said it, it was brewed on uh, the summer solstice. Mm. So it's probably brewed in June, bottled in July. Okay. So it's still pretty, uh, oh yeah, it's right there, see? Beer here, flying couch. Oh, cool. Too bad I don't still lose the close-ups when I like how I used to, but um, yeah, this is this is good. It's a nice, different type of saison. Uh, not as peppery, which is good. Not as uh, Belgiany though. This this reminds me of like a Russian River beer. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what they were going for. Okay. Like have you ever had um. I mean, the sanctification is like, well, that's like a straight up sour. I've had one of the ones, whatever the blue label one is. Maybe that's There's a few. No. <laughs> I've had one of like their sour style beers. With the cherry? I think that's supplication. Okay, I think I've had With that. like the rake thing on it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's my favorite. It's uh, like $15 a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but this is, this is, you know, surprising me. Like this. If I, you know, somebody who's not into beer, I think this would be a great introduction beer, for, especially for like Saison. Like, this is very drinkable. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even really, I mean, yeah, okay, it is Saison, it's not, but it's not typical of Saison. Yeah. You know, because it's like more of a clean, fruity Saison rather than like the, you know, gritty, peppery, spicy Saison. And plus it has that, um, that sourness on it. Um, but it is it is really refreshing. Like every time it's in my mouth, it's like, yeah. I wish it was like a hundred degrees. I was like really taking advantage of it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. This would be, and actually, I uh, well, I think the alcohol is pretty low on this, right? It's like around five or six. Five point four. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's great. You can you know yeah. have this bottle by yourself. I could. Yeah, I could have drank the whole bottle by <laughs> myself, but. Well, thanks um, for having me over. Yeah. Um. I mean, as far as rating, I'm thinking. I, this is like a solid eight, bordering on a nine. Mm -hmm. And like it's really impressive, and it it tastes you know pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Um, it's you know it's not like knocking my socks off to the point of yeah. like where I'm jumping for joy about it, you know. Yeah, for me like it's it's uh it's really drinkable and like it's it's like actually like delicious. Like I really like how this tastes. Yeah. If I was like gonna rate like against other saisons, it's kind of hard because it doesn't really taste like a yeah. your typical saison. But just as a beer in general, I'd give it like probably a nine. Yeah, I'll probably I'll stick with an eight. <sighs> Too bad Aaron's not here. He would love this. Yeah, I wonder if it's bottle condition under harvest yeast. I think it is. Eh? No, nah, well, it's all caked on the bottom. I don't think it's salvageable. All right, well I guess that about wraps it up for. But we didn't even say the name of the beer. <laughs> Shit. The Sankit Hans. I'm sure it's some Danish thing. Yeah, that's... Um, I don't know what it means. Alright, well. It's kind of an anticlimactic ending, so. Thanks for the beer, Jason. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks for sharing it with me. Yep, thanks for coming over. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.